Hi Houston, I'm Lauren Whittington with Wild Whittington Properties, Keller Williams Memorial, and today I wanna to talk to you about why it is beneficial to buy a home toward the end of the year. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so a couple of reasons why it's beneficial to be a buyer toward the end of the year. Um, you know, some people, I mean, lots of realtors will probably tell you, oh, you know, heavy buying season is spring and summer. Well, that's actually heavy selling season. Um, it's actually really good to be a buyer, specifically if, number one, you're looking for new construction. If you're working with a new home builder in a subdivision or in a specific area, those builders, let me tell you, want to cut you a deal toward the end of the year so that they are in the black and not the red. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're looking for new construction, you definitely wanna be a buyer toward the end of the year, fall to winter. Some other things to keep in mind if you're a buyer toward the end of the year is that there's a lot of leftover spring and summer inventory. And what that means is there's a lot of people who probably listed a little bit too high in the spring and summer when they thought they were gonna get you know a lot for their money or whatever it could be, or it was high buying season. Um, and then they've reduced, 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 and guess what? Their home still hasn't been purchased. Does it mean it's a bad home? In most cases, no. It means that they were waiting for a really good offer, and then the longer their home sat on the market, the more stale it got, and you know what? Maybe it was an area where there was high, high inventory, there was a lot to look at, and they just didn't sell. So, good for you as a buyer. If you're interested in that area, and there's still really good homes on the market, you can most likely get a pretty good deal. Okay, so number two or three, um, there's fewer buyers. So you're less likely to get into a multiple offer situation. You're also less likely um, to have a situation where if you're not all cash or if you do have a contingency, that kind of thing. Normally buyers will entertain that more toward the end of the year because their listing has been on for quite some time, more than they would in the busy you know, summer and spring selling season. So. Um, think, keep that in mind. If you have something to sell or maybe you're gonna have to have a contingency, it might be a good time for you to buy in the fall or in the winter, is that there's really motivated sellers. So this goes back to the beginning where we're talking about people who probably listed their home in the spring or the summer, did not have the home bought, and so now they're very motivated. They've had it on for, let's say, anywhere from two to six months, maybe even more. Right now in central Houston, there's very high priced areas where people have had their home on the market for over 400 days. I know that sounds crazy. Beautiful homes, nothing wrong with the home, but because of the product or the specific area and based on the inventory in spring and summer, it has not sold. So you as a buyer, this is where you can take advantage. And the very last thing is, Fading landscape. It's really hard for most buyers to envision how the home's gonna look in the spring and the summer when the flowers are blooming, everything's green. In the winter, it's really hard when maybe the grass is yellow. It's hard for them to see the curb appeal, but you as a buyer that knows the area, knows the curb appeal, knows what you can do, knows that it's the fall or winter, also knows that that doesn't really determine the value of the house. So because people are less interested as the cooler months come on and as the foliage gets less beautiful, you can take advantage of that. So those are four or five reasons why you should definitely take advantage of buying in the fall or winter. If you guys have any questions, if you wanna sit down with me and talk about what you're really looking for, what areas of Houston you're targeting, what areas of Texas. I know I've had people contact me that are interested in ranch property. I work all over Texas and all over the Houston area. So if you are interested in buying right now, you can get a really good deal. Contact me today and let's set something up. Let's go look at these properties and let's get you guys in the home that you've always wanted. Have a great rest of your week. As always, I'm here for you whenever you need me. I'm Lauren Whittington with Wild Whittington Properties, Keller Williams Memorial, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.